Dollar Tree salt and pepper shakers. Let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is remove the sticker off the bottom and then I'm going to give it a quick wash with a degreasing soap like Dawn just to remove any fingerprints or oils from shipping. Then I'll go ahead and mask off the threads so that way we don't get those all gunked up in the process. I'm going to be glittering mine today. So to adhere my glitter down, I'm going to be using glitter glue. You could use something like Mod Podge. Right after you apply your glue, you want to go ahead and shake on the glitter of your choice. One will be red and one will be white. Then we want to epoxy smooth. After those have cured, we are going to hydro dip. Again, block off your threads. For the red, I'm going to spray white spray paint into my bucket. I'm just going to give that a few spritzes and then simply dunk my salt and pepper shaker right down into the water while twisting and there we go. I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. After those have dried, we are ready to clean these up a bit. While going with the flow of the paint, I simply take some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and I just wipe away, exposing the glitter underneath. To finish mine up, I'm going to be using UV DTFs for my decals, along with a puffy paint drip for one of them. Seal down with two more coats of epoxy and they are good to go.